each other accountable again. Accountability buddies all the way for healthy habits and just working on ourselves. So I finally got back into the five minute journal today. I looked and I haven't filled this out for a month, which might be one of the longest breaks I've taken accidentally in forever for this. I'm usually pretty on top of it. So I feel pretty bad about that, but it's great to get back to it. I, if none of you have used the five minute journal before, you basically just write, what you're grateful for, what would make today great, and then your daily affirmation. And at the end of the day, I really like when you do the highlights of the day and what did you learn today. It's just like a nice practice to do when you first wake up and when you go to bed. Ideally, you would be doing this when you first wake up, when you're just like leery eyed and just rolling out of bed, but I forgot and I've forgotten a lot recently. So I'm just glad I've gotten back to it in general. As I mentioned in my last video, I like to make my healthy habits that I'm trying to build on feel a bit like a video game. So I use Notion, my calendar to just try complete as many as possible each morning. And that just makes me feel a lot better about the day. I also really neglected like self learning and even journaling, as you can see, journaling for the last month I neglected. I neglected it a lot at the beginning of the year and already getting back into it, I feel like a completely new person. Anyways, today is a very exciting day because for my business, I am launching some client ads today. Fingers crossed all goes smoothly. So I'm actually gonna go and review some of them before those go live today and get a little bit of work done and then we can touch base later on. <laughs> up some ads for a client and then launching them which was super super exciting i this is like a new kind of area for me i spent a lot of time on websites and branding not a lot of time on ads before mainly because i've only been really working with smaller businesses where they don't have typically they don't have the investment for ads so yeah i've been really excited and stoked to get these ads up and running and you know, I've already just looked at one, it's got like two clicks. <laughs> I'm so excited because it's been a lot of work going into this and then also doing research, touching up on my knowledge of things. But yeah, I am very excited. This is for a client whose website I just finalized too. And on the website, I made the graphics, I made the videos, I helped with some blogs. I, I had a lot of creative freedom with this website. So I'm really excited to have that go live as well. And it's been really nice with this project to work with the clients team who are all just super great and lovely to work with and also to have the chance to actually outsource some work abroad so that has been a complete learning curve for me as well i should actually make a whole video on how i outsource this work because that's a whole process of its own like what websites to use i used fiverr and then i also used one called online ph which is finding help in the philippines as well and of course that will save you costs if there's different rates when you work with people abroad as well. But yeah, I've had a really great time with the people I've worked with so far and it's been really fun to kind of figure out how to delegate and become even more organized with my projects and really lay it out for more than just myself so other people can easily follow along too. But it's also taught me a lot about not micromanaging when you outsource work abroad because I know as a freelancer, I prefer having a lot of freedom and not having my client or someone kind of manage me and really breathe down my neck. I've loved having clients clients like the one I just spoke of that are just super easygoing, giving me a lot of trust and freedom. And I want to incorporate that with other freelancers that I work with and work with working with them and making sure that I don't micromanage them. But I'm also a bit perfectionist. So learning to release control and trust other people to help with the workload is something that I am currently working on and trying to do my best with. Uh, and also making sure that the type of work that I'm outsourcing is worth outsourcing for. If it's something that I can just do really quickly, is it worth outsourcing it and finding like a balance between those two things so that's something i've been working on lately with my business but yeah guys the ads are up life is good i feel <laughs> a little bit more relieved now and yeah it just feels really good to be learning something new and trying something new as well
do a little bit of journaling right now. I'm going to talk a little bit about what I have been enjoying recently and kind of why I've been enjoying getting back into journaling as well. I plan to make a whole video on this soon. The importance of sketching and journaling and having your book of thoughts to carry around. I started doing this during COVID. I had a book called Book of Things I've Learned and I've kind of titled this book the same. I don't want to show all my info but I have a book of thoughts doodles and things that I have learned and I've written down my dreams in here words of the day I've learned um, prompts from books like the artist's way I didn't finish reading that book but going through those exercises things that I've just like reflected on business wise lots of sketches in here as well how I'm feeling that day pieces of art I've enjoyed, poems that I want to note down. And I just think it's really important for people to have a space where they can note everything down that kind of makes you, you and the things that you enjoy. And I think it's really good practice to analyze your thoughts by writing them down and having it make more sense. I even have just like to-do lists and my ideal morning routine, things I want to remember, more sketches. <laughs> so I'll make a full video on this soon, but one book that I really enjoyed recently, I actually just returned it to the library, is Living Between Worlds by James Hollis. He has a PhD. James Hollis is an American Jungian psychoanalyst, author, and public speaker. So for anyone who doesn't know what a Jungian is, it's a term coined by Carl Jung, a Swiss psychiatrist, to describe research in his type of empirical science of the psyche. So yes, James Hollis, he has done a lot of research, does follow a lot of Carl Jung's work. This book specifically, it talks about the unconscious and how we can understand our unconscious more through dreams and depth psychology. And depth psychology is, I don't wanna get it completely wrong, but there's ways to go into depth psychology and understanding your unconscious such as noting down your dreams when you wake up first thing in the morning. If you remember it, write down your dreams and try to dissect what your brain is telling you. And you know when people lucid dream or things like that, to not do that, to not try control your dreams, but to go with the flow with them, to try and understand what your brain is trying to show you or tell you. And that's how you can be more in touch with your unconscious. So these are a few of the notes that I took down from that book, which I've really been enjoying playing with these ideas. The problem with the unconscious is that it is unconscious. We cannot address it directly, but we can track, engage, and interpret its manifestations in our behavioral patterns. So each of these venues is an aperture into the dynamics of the active psyche, seeking its healing, understanding its suffering, and correcting our diversions. So I have definitely been noting down my dreams recently and trying to understand what they mean. If you're interested in hearing about one of those dreams, the Empowerment Hour podcast is a podcast I have with a really good friend of mine and we actually talk about that in one of our topics. I don't know if the podcast is out yet or if it's coming out soon, but if it is, I'll link it here and I'll also link the podcast so that you can check that out as well if it is not released yet. I really enjoyed also something that I think relates to sketching and noting down things is James Hollis talked about how Aristotle felt that art tells us more than history. So while history is the lie that victors agree upon, Aristotle noted that even the most factually accurate history is seen through the distorting lens of the personality, the psychology, and the culturally selective biases of the historian. Being able to understand that our understanding is another fiction, a partial construct revealing some dimensions and concealing others, is a form of respect for the unique mystery that is each of us. We are more likely to be open to a larger frame of self-awareness if we understand that we are viewing only through our own distorting lenses. So the way we even view our own life, our thoughts, our weaknesses, our strengths, how we view other people is all through our own distorted lens as well. Again, why I think journaling and noting things down and everything is so important too, to have that to reflect on as well and try broaden, I guess, your lens on everything. I also really liked this section of the book, which talked about the first half of life being preoccupied with adaptation you wanting to fit in, learning roles, expectations. I think heavily of high school when I think of this and these often necessary compromises with the world around us that seem to offer protection, acceptance by others and anxiety management. But over the years, they also become imprisoning structures, reflexive responses and conditioned compliances. So accordingly, in the second half of life, we are challenged to recover our personal authority. Sorry, the lighting keeps changing so much while I'm doing this, it's the afternoon. This is something I think I've been trying to grasp more and more after COVID when I didn't have the job that I expected or didn't go down the path I expected is to 
think about who you are as an individual and also because COVID kind of gave us this weird bubble and space away from people and I think it's also important to take space away time away from social media which I talked about in my last video but to really get to know who you are as an individual outside of other people's expectations and to understand what your wants and desires are outside of what other people want and desire to not just think okay I have to live life according to this way because that's how everyone else does it so yeah regaining personal authority is difficult and becomes a continuing life's work I think you do have to continually ask yourself what do I really want and who am I truly if no one else around me is affecting me which is hard to do and I think almost impossible to do fully as he says in the book personal authority requires sifting through immense traffic that courses through our mind every moment which voices are those from culture which are from my family or origin which are from my soul and we must find the courage to act upon what is true. So, I highly recommend this book, Living Between Worlds by James Hollis. Super interesting. I also, if you're interested, recommend ch checking out depth psychology and even just for fun, writing down your dreams, analyzing them, seeing how you feel about what you think your brain is trying to tell you, your subconscious is trying to tell you. And yeah, just noting more things down, getting into books, reading different things, and most importantly, documenting it all. I think that's really important. So I know this vlog was probably extremely scattered today, just me inside talking a little bit about work, a little bit about what I've been up to, and then what I've been journaling about and reading recently. But I did promise a video every Wednesday, so <laughs> I don't want to miss a week and feel like everything has to be perfect. But please let me know your recommendations down below for anything that you've been journaling about recently or topics you want to hear from me in future videos. I've been enjoying just slowly getting back into filming things and coming back to YouTube. So I hope you all have been enjoying it as well. And I will talk to you all in the next video next week. Bye friends.